I think it was around about five years old that I first decided I wanted to study sharks. I think that was when I started to pester my mum about what I really wanted to do. Maybe she didn't think anything would come of it, I don't know. <laughs> my name is Dr. Yanis Papastamatiu. I have a PhD in zoology, but my specialty are large marine animals, particularly sharks. I remember the first time I saw a shark in the wild. I just swam towards it as fast as I could. It was like this 20 years of something I'd wanted to see, and I finally got to see one. My main area of research is developing new electronic tags that I put on sharks that tell us different things about what those animals are doing. When I first started my scientific career, the technology was allowing us to track fishes and sharks and understand where they would go and when. And obviously we learned a huge amount using those tools. But I always kind of felt that from a knowledge standpoint that was kind of reaching a plateau. I really wanted to understand why they were doing the things we see them do. So I started looking into alternative technology. It could measure the acceleration of the animal or its swim speed or we could put video cameras on those animals and actually see what they're seeing. If we understand why an animal uses a certain habitat, then we can actually forecast and make predictions as to what it should do in a different location. Just because an area is protected, the sharks themselves don't actually know that they're within a protected zone. There's no underwater wall stopping them from leaving that protected area. They're going across different geopolitical boundaries. They'll go into areas where there may be a lot fewer regulations. To me, I haven't finished or reached my end goal until I've published a scientific paper on that work. I treat it the same way I would if I was writing a novel. Most of the public aren't going to be reading scientific journals. So I treat it as a story I'm trying to tell. The public is a lot more supportive about conservation of sharks than they were 10, 20 years ago when they were just considered man-eaters and no one really cared if they were being killed. The drive that keeps me interested in sharks is that I'm always finding out new things about them. As technology improves, we have better tools to answer the questions we want to answer. But what you find is when you answer a question, it often generates five or 10 more. I can't imagine not doing research or not being able to die. So I'm gonna keep on doing both for as long as I can.